everyone. So I'm kicking things off today by applying some eyeshadow primer to the eye area to make sure my shadows last all day long. We're working with bright colours today and if you're worried about your shadows staining your lids, you could apply an eyeshadow base as well so there's a barrier between your lids and the shadows. I'm using a couple of the sleek eyeshadow palettes today. As you can see, I'm starting with this vibrant green eyeshadow and this is from the Acid Palette. So I'm using this on a small brush to carve out the shape of my eyeshadow look. I'm lightly sweeping the shadow from the outer corner of my eye, applying it at an angle and stopping just before I get to the tail of the brow. Now I'm taking this matte white eyeshadow and I'm using a flat C-shaped brush. The brush is nice and dense, the bristles are tightly packed, which means it's just going to really pack on the colour. I'm pressing that white along under the brow area and it'll look mad now, but when it's all blended out it's fine. I just pat the eyeshadow underneath the brow from beginning to end and then I like to flick my brush downwards towards the crease area just to blend that out. I'm picking up some more of that bright green eyeshadow now, this time on a large fluffy brush. And I'm starting by tapping this down on the outer half of the lid and I'm then using circular motions to start working this up into the crease. If you really want that green to pop, you could apply a base like I mentioned earlier. So not only can it prevent your shadows from staining your lids, it can also make the colours appear more vibrant. I'd use a white base to really pack a punch, something cheap and cheerful like the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk would be a good option. And if you don't have a base or you just don't want to use one but you still want that colour payoff, just add it in a couple of layers like I am doing now. And if you're worried about staining and don't have a base, I'd recommend applying a concealer and patting some powder over the top and that'll do the job as well. So once I've added a couple of layers of the green, I'm then switching to a small bullet shaped brush and pick it up some more green and sweeping this down along the lower lash line making sure to connect it with the shadow above. I get questions about shadow going into the eye as you can see here there's actually some green in my waterline. This doesn't bother me perhaps if you're maybe um, quite sensitive or someone that wears contact lenses and wants to minimize the risk of irritation I'd suggest patting the eyeshadow down there as opposed to sweeping it like I'm doing. Now I'm switching to the Sleek Ultra Mattes Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I've used this in so many tutorials, it's one of my all time favourite eyeshadow palettes. And I've just taken um, some of the green eyeshadow from the palette on a smaller fluffy brush and I'm applying this to the outer half of my eyelid. Unlike the last shade, I'm just keeping this to the outer half of the lid and into the crease only. And I've used a smaller brush because I'm covering a smaller area, I want to be a bit more precise with this shadow because I'm using it to create some depth and I obviously still want that light green to be seen. So once I've added a few layers of that shadow and I'm happy with the colour payoff, once again then I'm moving down to the lower lash line and I'm using an angled brush just to be a bit more precise than before. So I'm using this brush to pat that eyeshadow onto the lash line. I'm taking this halfway across the lash line and making sure once again that it connects with the shadow above. So I felt the green on the inner portion of the lower lash line could do with another application because it wasn't kind of as opaque as I'd have liked, so I'm just reapplying that now. Next then I'm using this gorgeous shadow from Kiko, I actually used this in my St. Patrick's Day look last year, but I'm using it in a slightly different way this year. So I'm starting out by patting it onto the lid with a flat C shaped brush, and the first application I'm doing dry. For the second application I've actually spritzed a bit of water on my brush to really make those shimmery particles pop and you can add as few or as many layers as you want depending on how shimmery you want the look to appear. Next I'm taking a black eyeshadow and because I'll be applying this to only a small portion of the eye I'm opting for a smaller brush so I'm using a pencil brush to pat this onto the outer third of the lid gradually making my way from lash line to crease and I'm paying careful attention to flick that shadow outwards and upwards on that outer edge just to keep the look nice and elongated. So I'm reapplying a small amount of that shimmery Kiko shadow now just to make sure that it blends in with the black. I don't want a harsh divide between the two so I'm just overlapping the shadows. Then I'm switching back to an angled brush like before and I'm patting the black eyeshadow down along the lower lash line, this time though focusing about a third of the way in. I'm also at this point using the black eyeshadow to softly line the upper lash line and this will just help to hide the band of the lashes that I'll be applying soon. To line my waterline then I'm taking this black coal pencil from collection and I'm closing my eye around the pencil so I'm just running it back and forward inside the eye to coat the upper and lower waterline. Then I'm setting the pencil in place with some black eyeshadow by pressing it over the top of the pencil and I get asked does the powder get into my eye and no it doesn't because I've tapped away any excess shadow before I start and I find anyway the eyeshadow just sticks to the pencil in the waterline so it doesn't budge. 
I'm going one step further now with the glitz and glam. So I'm adding this glitter to the eye area. You could of course skip this step and leave the look as it is. I think it looks great. But if you are using glitter like this one, please make sure that you're using cosmetic glitter and not craft. Because if it's craft glitter and it gets in your eyeballs, you'll know all about it. Now I'm taking this pigment from Inglot and I picked this up on a pencil brush and I'm working that into the inner corner to add a pop there. You can apply this wet or dry, um, wet is less messy because you don't have to worry about fallout and the colour will pack more of a punch too. Now I'm just taking some mascara, this is my favourite one at the moment and I'm just using this to obviously add some definition and length to my lower lashes and to blend my false lashes in with my own natural lashes and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the look, um, if you're wearing it for Paddy's Day let me know. Um, if you are, I hope you have a wonderful Paddy's Day and I'll catch you all soon.